I love eating paratha. Do you? Yes. Do you want to know what happens to the food when it goes inside our body? No. Let us check today what happens to the food when it goes inside our body. Now, if I ask you to eat something right now, from where you are going to eat this? Eat it. Yes, from your mouth. What happens to the food when it goes inside the mouth? Yes, you chew it properly, right? And it gets mixed inside your mouth? Yes. Do you swallow it? Means try to push the food inside your stomach? Yes. Now see, what we did is, we eat our food from mouth, right? We chew it properly inside the mouth. Now, after that, you swallow your food, right? The food goes inside the stomach. Now, from where it is going? It's a pipe-like structure. Yes, we call it food pipe. Students, don't get confused between windpipe and food pipe. There are two kinds of pipe inside our body. Windpipe is always connected to lungs, okay? And food pipe is connected to stomach. So, our food goes inside the stomach through food pipe. Now, do you know what happens to the food inside stomach? No. Let me tell you. Look here. When you eat your food, the food goes inside stomach, right? This is bag-like structure. Inside it, so many digestive juices are present. Now, what do these juices do to the food? Let me tell you. The food inside the stomach, when it comes here, these juices react on the food. The stomach is squeezed and relaxed. Squeezed and relaxed. Like this, the food gets into smooth paste. It becomes more smooth paste here. And so, inside stomach, food get mixed properly with the help of digestive juices. Now, where the food will pass? It will pass to small intestine. Can you see this? Yes. Now, food can pass easily, easily to the small intestine because here in the stomach, the food is already converted into paste. Right? Now, the food goes into small intestine. It is very large. Now, do you know what happens inside small intestine? No. Let me tell you, have you ever heard that our food contains different types of nutrients? Yes, but where do these nutrients get absorbed? Yes, that is small intestine. The nutrients of the food here is absorbed by the blood present near the small intestine wall. Okay, so in small intestine we can say the nutrients is absorbed by the blood. Got it? Now, once the nutrient is absorbed by the blood, the undigested food, now the food that is left is of no use, right? Because already all the nutrients are absorbed. The undigested food goes to large intestine. So, after stomach, food goes to small intestine. Time. What happens here? Here the nutrients are absorbed. And once the nutrients are absorbed, the undigested food passes to large intestine. And here in the large intestine, now from that undigested food, the extra waters is absorbed like when the food goes here now the food is in liquid form because it is already mixed with so many juices and became the smooth paste right so extra water is being absorbed by the large intestine here and now the food that is totally waste for us for our body is 
passed out of the body with the help of anus so at last large intestine helps to absorb extra water from waste food so this was the process of digestion now student tell me when we started eating food from where the actual digestion started from stomach yes so stomach is an organ where actual digestion start all the st it starts from our mouth but in the stomach itself the digestive juices mixes and the digestion start after the stomach the food goes to small intestine where nutrients are absorbed and then the large intestine and it the body releases the waste now can you see the food item that we took is totally changed why because it is broken into very small pieces inside our digestive system now this is the process of digestion what is digestion process of breaking food into smaller part so that our body can easily absorb it okay so our why our body is able to absorb the nutrients because the food particle is broken into small pieces so what we have learned today we have learned about our digestion system have a look here now what we have learned we take food first from our mouth then it goes inside the stomach with the help of food pipe here stomach squeezes and get relaxed so that food mixes properly and pass to small intestine can you see this is small intestine yes here the nutrients are absorbed by the blood and then the waste food item is passed to the large intestine this is our large intestine here some extra water is absorbed and then the undigested food is moved out from our body so today your homework is you have to read page number 8 and 9 here the whole digest digestion process is given and you have to also look after some he healthy eating habit okay so stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to like subscribe and share our channel bye